Good morning everybody, welcome back to day two of our Moroccan uh, adventure. Uh, so for sunrise we've come to uh, Kutabayo Mosque. Now this mosque is, uh, has quite a tall tower and it's pretty much the tallest tower in all of Marrakesh I think. Um, so it's quite an obvious uh, subject to shoot um, and the sunrise is coming up behind the mosque where I am right now. Um, and getting some interesting foreground in the picture. So, um, yeah, just waiting for the sun to come up at the moment and hopefully get some good shots. Built in the 12th century, the Kutabayo Mosque is the largest mosque in Marrakesh. It's also the tallest building in Marrakesh, with local laws preventing any buildings in the city rising above this, providing unobstructed views from across the city. One thing I really love when, whenever you go abroad is the colours in the sky are just so, so nice. You know, where the sun is rising, it's lovely in orange and yellow. Um, but then over the, behind me, um, you know, it's a really sort of deep blue. And uh, yeah, I just love that transition um, between the two colours. I think it's really great. sun is coming up right now um, and yeah hoping to get some nice light on sort of the lovely sort of red uh, brickwork and um, I think that will come up quite nice in the image. Um, glad that uh, come, I came here a little bit earlier um, just to get that sort of pre-dawn glow. A really good thing we did that morning was actually walk to and around the gardens behind the mosque and at that time in the morning it was a really relaxing atmosphere. I found as well there were so many more interesting photo spots to be found uh, with interesting leading lines and trees that could be used to frame the mosque. After sunrise we headed back to the hotel to get some breakfast and then we hit the road. So this leg of the journey is driving to Ait Benadou where we'll stay the night and it's a really beautiful drive as you head towards and go over the Atlas Mountains. It's about three and a half hours and generally speaking the roads were in good condition. We had all day to make this drive and the plan was to stop off at viewpoints along the way which there were quite a few. I really love the textures and the shapes in the mountains, which I tried to capture with the long lens. One stop off I would really recommend is to visit the Talut Kasbah. It does involve turning off the N9, which is the main road, but as you'll see later in the video, the route, which does take you all the way to Ait Benadou, is so beautiful and it was a real highlight of the trip. I don't think this Casper is visited that much as it does involve taking a slightly slower route between Marrakesh and Ait Benadou, and even when you get there it really doesn't look like much, but once you get inside it really is amazing. So this Casper had a really strategic position back in the day, as travellers had to pass this place uh, as they went between cities and it's also located near major salt mines so between those two things it provided a lot of wealth for the town. Due to political reasons it was seized in the 1950s by the state and has steadily deteriorated since. So I've been on the road for about a couple of hours now um, going up through the Atlas Mountains and um, yeah, that was that was really really special. Um, you know, some of the vistas and the views and some of the textures and the rocks was it was just amazing, really. So um, yeah, as I say, we've been on the road for a couple of hours and we've come to a stopover point. Um, it's a Casper on the way to Eight Ben Hadou, and um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, there's not hardly anyone 
here today. Um, so it's been nice to have a have a walk around in our in our own at our own pace. Um, but yeah, I've just sort of been you know focusing in on some in more intimate scenes um, and get some you know lovely textures and lovely colours of the of the mosaic. Yeah, so this location is uh, sort of really off the off the beaten path. It's um, talking to the guide. A lot of people kind of pass pass this place and don't really sort of check it out because uh, yeah, from the outside it doesn't really doesn't look much. But when you go inside and have a walk around, you know, it's a really beautiful place. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna chill out here for a little bit. As we travelled from the Casper, the views and the scenery just got better and better. We passed so many picturesque villages tucked away in the valley, and I just love when you got that bit of greenery contrasting with the desert rock. Roads did get quite twisty at this point, which only added to the adventure. We then arrived in 8 Benadou, and after a quick dip in the pool to cool off, we headed to the top of the famous Casper. Ape Benadou has been a World Heritage Site since the 1980s and is considered a great example of Moroccan clay architecture. Absolutely gorgeous place. Um, we, yeah, on the drive over, it was absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, it just sort of probably took us twice as long just because we kept stopping off and I kept getting the camera out and you know using the, the long long zoom that I have um, you know just sort of picking out little sort of detailed spots in the in the valleys. we got inside the Casper it was a real maze working our way up to the top but once we got there we were greeted with a fantastic view over the village. So the shot um, I had in mind for this particular location, um, unfortunately the sun's setting in the wrong location, so uh, most of it will be in the shade. Um, so we're gonna head over the other side of the river, or the dried up bed anyway, um, and take a few shots from the other side. Um, but yeah, hopefully the sun kind of comes out, it's about, just about to dip below the cloud, so yeah, hopefully it comes out. And coming to the other side of the riverbed was uh, a good decision, it turned out, because um, the sun is, is coming out and it is beautiful. Uh, sort of the golden light now is really sort of shining on, on the sort of the red and orange um, kind of brickwork and buildings. Um, it just looks, just looks phenomenal. Um, I've got the long lens on, or the zoom lens on, and I'm just sort of picking out um, and sort of cropping in really tightly on, on all the buildings and sort of capturing all those intricate details. Um, but yeah, it just looks lovely. Um, feel like I'm a bit restricted with where the sun is setting. And you know, if I go a little bit too far the other way, 
then a lot of the buildings will be in the shade so um, but yeah the position I've got at the moment is um, a pretty good one um, for, the, for the remaining light anyway and this is probably one of my favorite images from the whole trip I just love the shape of the Casper and how it's surrounded by the trees uh, and then added to that the wonderful evening light bringing out those colors and that wraps up part two of this Moroccan series I hope you really enjoyed that in the next video we'll be leaving Ape Benadou and heading towards the Sahara Desert where we'll be spending two nights at a luxury desert camp thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one